So the next thing we want to look at is the graphical user interface. So to access the interface, it's HTTPS 192.168.95.1. Uh, when you're logging in for the first time, the username is admin and the password is capital A admin123. Upon logging in for the first time, you will need to accept uh, the end user license agreement and then change your password. So use your current password, which is a capital A admin123. Um, and then you may create your own password as long as it matches one of the uh, profiles down here. Now, so when you first connect to the box, you'll see that that has a, a little representation of what's happening here in your box. So I'm connected to the management interface. Uh, I do have some things connected to port 1.1 and to port uh, 7 as well. Um, but this is the wizard when you begin uh, on, on your for connecting to your firewall. So you'll have a, a very basic rule that says trust outbound traffic. So anything coming from within your network, your local network going out, it's going to be trusted and block everything else. So this is good to begin with. So what I'm going to say is on port Ethernet 1.1, which is my outside interface uh, connecting to my, my router, my ISP is set up to give me an IP address directly. So I'm going to use the, the using the HCP and I'm going to click next. So it typically takes about two to three minutes for the changes to be applied. And the next thing that it's going to ask you uh, is to set your time. So I'm based in, in, in Asia, so I'm just going to set it to a Malaysian time zone. So we're about plus eight. Uh, I'm going to use the default NTP servers, uh, which are the Cisco servers. Uh, and as you can see here now, uh, my port 1.1 is connected to the outside via my router. It has connectivity to a DNS server. I'm now connecting to an NTP server uh, and everything else is green and everything else is orange uh, as, as what I expect. So I want to click save here. Next thing it's going to ask me is to register with Cisco Smart Software Manager. So this is the portal from where your licenses get deposited and you go and claim it from. But for this purpose, I'm just going to begin first with a 90 day evaluation period and we'll register the device later on. So now that my device is set up for a 90 day trial, um, it's asking me whether I want to manage this with CDO, which is our uh, Cisco Defense Orchestrator. But I'm going to say that we're going to manage this as a standalone device and uh, I'll, I'll be managing the interfaces and the policies myself. So this is what it looks like upon first logging in uh, and setting yourself up. So that probably took about five minutes to do. Um, so you began with uh, changing your password you then configured your outside interface to, to connect to your, your WAN, your ISP, you set up an NTP server, uh, and you're using a 90-day free license. So this is what it looks like now.